Hello everyone, this is Teacher Reggio. In this video, we are going to illustrate the different subsets of real numbers. I am here examples of real numbers. A fraction, a decimal number, negative 5, 0, 7, e, pi, and a number inside a square root sign. Real numbers can be classified into two, as rational numbers and irrational numbers. So this means rational numbers and irrational numbers are subsets of real numbers. So example of irrational numbers, okay, a number inside a square root sign, pi and e. Examples of rational numbers, negative 2, 0, 4, a decimal number, and a fraction. These rational numbers can be classified into two, integers and non-integers. So we can say that integers and non-integers are subsets of rational numbers. So, examples of non-integers, a decimal number, and a fraction. Examples of integers, negative 5, 0, and 6. And these integers can be classified into three. Negative integers, 0, and positive integers. So we can say that negative integers, 0, and positive integers are subsets of integers. Now, seeing the whole diagram, aside from saying that negative integers, 0, and positive integers are subsets of integers, we can also say that negative integers, 0, and positive integers are subsets of rational numbers and also subsets of real numbers. And also, aside from saying that integers and non-integers are subsets of rational numbers, we can also say integers and non-integers are subsets of real numbers. Now, for our exercises, I prepared here three numbers, negative 2.5, 4, and square root of 5. Identify the sets to which each of the following numbers below belong by marking a check in the appropriate box. Let's start with negative 2.5. Is it a real number? Yes, it's a real number. Now, is it rational or irrational? Yes, it's rational. Is it an integer or non-integer? Okay, it's non-integer. Now, let's uh, take 4. Is it a real number? Yes. Is it irrational or rational? Yes, it's rational. Is it an integer or non-integer? Yes, it's an integer. Now, is it positive or negative? Yes, it's positive. Now, how about square root of 5? Is it real or non-real? Yes, it's real. Is it rational or irrational? Yes, it's irrational. Now, we were able to identify the sets to which these numbers belong. Now, 
I prepared here three numbers for you to work on. Okay, number one, negative one fifth, number two, two square root of seven, and number three, negative eight. Okay, you can pause the video and try working on these three numbers. Identify the sets to which each of the following numbers below belong by marking a check in the appropriate box. If you are done, I can now show you the answer. Okay. For negative 1 over 5, it's real, rational, and non-integer. For item number 2, it's real and irrational. For item number 3, it's real, rational, integer, and negative. Did you get all the items right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching guys. This is Teacher Reggio. Keep safe.